Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here in Newcastle and I've got to say, it's been a long time since I spoke to Tony Sims. We spoke a little bit off camera. The last time I interviewed you was Monaco four years ago and you nearly fell off the chair into the water, into the pool. So I got it on camera, but not that bad. I wish I did. <laughs> yeah, you, you keep the leg away from it, there. Yeah. <laughs> Try you know, to get me in there, mate. I'm all about them views, Tony. You know, I've got to get them views somehow, some way. Four years ago, you four know that. Four years ago, 2019, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. Today, yeah quick second, on, yeah. Mental, but listen, a lot's happened since then. You spoke about it, so I'm not going to go over all ground. But Jimmy Sainz, he's uh, a guy that Eddie Hearn's talking about. All the guys are talking about him that are coming through. And I've spoken about some people about him as an amateur as well, how good he was as an amateur. So how good is this young man? Yeah, he's a good prospect. And uh, obviously, he's, uh, he's heavy-handed. He's a puncher, so it's always good to work with uh, young kids that can punch because the way the way I always look at it is um, you know you can put a lot into the teaching of them uh, teaching of them you know the style and the, and the way to box and when they can punch it's just an added bonus mm. and you know and he's, on, he's only young and he's got a massive following in London and uh, former Repton Repton ABC uh, amateur and he's won a lot of national titles won the the GB Tri Nations this year as well, so yeah, he's a good prospect. How far can he go? Obviously, it's probably a question I need to ask a few years later because he's only on his second pro fight. But he's in a gym, like I mentioned to him, with the Conor Benz, the John Riders, the Joe Cardenas, the, the guys that have been there and done it at the top, fought for world titles, fought in big fights like the Canelo fight for Ryder. Joe Cardenas wants to unify the division. Conor Ben has talked about a massive fight with Chris Eubank Jr. So. How good? How far can he go? Because you've seen it before, you've been and done it. How far can he go? Yeah, as I say, he's a great young prospect, you know. And uh, only time will tell with all of the young kids coming through. Like, like they were saying, there's all this new new gen that's going on there. They're all they're all young, really good fighters. Mm -hmm. and, but only time will tell, you know. To become a world champion, he is a needle in an haystack. And uh, as much as um, we all see these young prospects and every single one of them wants to be a world champion and every single manager and trainer thinks they're going to be a world champion but it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of ability, it takes a lot of everything to get there and uh, you know to become a world champion it's like a, it's a, it is a rarity and that's what people don't understand that so you know Jimmy, Jimmy's, Jimmy's a good prospect and you know I expect him to get definitely onto British level. Uh, but you have to see after you know after British level it starts getting rough, you know, and you especially start, that middleweight division. Middleweight, it starts getting rough, you know, and uh, in any division really. So, you know, uh, only time will tell, and you see how they develop. As I said earlier, Jimmy's got an added bonus that he can punch with both hands. So, you know, we'll, we'll just see how he develops, and um, I'm sure Matchroom will be putting him into the right fights at the right time. And uh, with the following he's got as well, you know, he, I'm, I'm sure he's going to go on to do good things. I do want to cast your mind back to a week, because it's been a week since Joe Cordina fight. And for me, as a boxing fan, when I talk about people in my gym, we're talking about the Cordina fight and we'll talk about what's next for him. And selfishly, I'm thinking, I'd love that Lee Wood fight. I'd, I think that's just, a, for a, especially us here in the UK, as a big British dust up in a stadium, whether it be Cardiff or whether it be uh, the city ground for, for uh, Lee Wood, it's a big, big fight. But... As a coach, as a, a manager as well, I'm sure you, you have good discussions with your fighter. That unified champion, the undisputed champion, that's been a lot of emphasis on this over the few years. The Shaki Fosters, the Navarettes. Have you had con uh, conversations with Lee Wood, uh, Lee Wood um, Joe Cardina, and where, what's next for him? The unification or a massive fight with Lee Wood? I think Joe. I think Joe wants the biggest payday. To be honest with you, Andy, um, you know that's what he's looking at. You know he's like 32. Um, he's done everything in the sport. He's had the last three fights have all been world title fights, and he just wants, uh, you know, some big paydays now. Mm. If that means a unification fight with, say, a Navarrete, then or well, that means a, a fight with Lee Wood, Joe, Joe will just do do the biggest fight he can with the biggest purse, and that, you know, that, that's what he's looking at: securing his family, you know, securing his future, and. Uh, that, that's what he'll be looking at next. Obviously, the, the Lee Wood fight is, is a mouth watering fight for both of them because, you know, Lee, Lee can sell sell out, you know, the Nottingham City ground with that fight with Joe Caldino. And obviously, he'll be looking to make himself a, a two weight world champion. You know, and Joe will be looking for a defence. So it's a big fight for both of them domestically. But if 
one of the other fights comes up and it's bigger money and then Joe, Joe will be taking one of them, you know, unification fights. I'm a selfish man, I want to see the Lee Wood fight. I think you look at the performances, the last three fights with the Ogawa and the Rakamov fight for, for Cardina and then obviously the Lara, the Warrington, the Conlon fight for Lee Wood. You put them performances together and let them two fight each other. For me, I can see drama, knockdowns, everything. Probably not music to your ears, but as a fight fan, music to my ears. Yeah, like you say, like, you know, in the UK... You know, there'd be, as fight fans, there'll be a lot of people who want to see that fight. And as you say there, it'd be a very entertaining fight because they both don't shy away for getting stuck in. You know, and as much, like, on the weekend, I wanted Joe to box. Like, I, I know he's a great boxer, but he likes getting stuck in. So does Lee Wood, mm. you know. So he, he, he's a big fight on these shores. But as I say, Joe, Joe will go for wherever the biggest purse is. And if that's a unification, it's, it's a bigger payday than Lee Wood then that's what he'll do. But if the Lee Wood payday is bigger, then he'll fight Lee Wood. I want to touch on a, an interview with um, Chris Eubank Sr. yesterday. He basically said for Conor Ben to not go up to 160, his weight is 147, and he said, whoever, his words, the numpty is, that's telling you to go to 160, tell him to be quiet or watch that effect and stay at 147 and fight Harlem Eubank. Not his son Chris, but Harlem Eubank. Just what you'll get your comments on that. He won't be at 160, he'll be at 154. So, you know, Chris will be at 160. He is a 147 fighter. Uh, the fight will be made at 160 because that's what Chris wants it made at. So, but, listen, he'll drop down to 147 after the fight. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't think anyone takes much notice of what Chris Eubank Senior says these days. And uh, you know uh, the fight's the fight's close to being made now, and uh, you know he'd be giving away weight and size. Uh, Chris is a lot bigger than him, but listen, he, he he's confident that he can beat Chris Eubank whatever, whatever weight. So um, and that, and you know that's that's what's going to happen next. When you when you look at that fight itself, I've seen Eddie Hearn was at the Tottenham Hotspur. Or stadium and he said hopefully see you soon now I'm cryptically I'm looking at that thinking does he mean the Chris Eubank and Conor Ben fight being at the Tottenham Hotspur stadium is, I don't know if you can elaborate is it going to be here in the UK because for us British fans whether you Conor Ben situation or whatever the 160 pound weight limit or whatever it may be I think a lot of us still want to see that fight so are we going to get it in he, here in the UK or do you think it will be abroad I believe it will be in the UK yeah I think there's still negotiations going on from both sides Matchroom is still working it out, but I believe that it will be in the UK. One final one on Jimmy Sainz, like I said to these uh, Geordie fans, they're rowdy, they, they love a good scrap, Tony. Um, this young man, you said he can hit with both hands, can we expect a big performance? Yeah, I mean, I don't want him to go out and look for a knockout, so I want him to box, you know, but he, he can punch and the kid he's fighting looks solid. He's a Spanish kid, he looks solid, fighter, tough. So, um, you know, it's just another bit of experience to be under his belt. And as you say, boxing in front of the Newcastle fans, they're, they're great fans up here, been, been, been up here loads of times, and they love boxing, and it'll be a great atmosphere. Fingers crossed we can hear some fight news soon with your fighters, and uh, I'll speak to you soon, Tony. Thanks, mate. Thank you.